All right, so today we're going to show you how to take your Minecraft world that you've been working hard on and take it with you on the road using Minecraft World Explorer for iPhone and iPad. So as you can see here, uh, I built this home. It's no Sistine Chapel, but uh, I've got a lot of work to do. So I'd like to take it with me. So what I will do is exit, save and quit to title so it saves it. Then I will fire up Minecraft World Explorer. And we'll hit New World, which pops up instructions. So it says World Explorer can load Minecraft worlds from your PC to Mac. To transfer one of these worlds to your device, please visit the following URL in a browser on your computer and follow the instructions provided. So I'm also going to connect my iPad to my machine. And I'm going to go to the browser and I'm going to type in the HTTP address there. So that's 192.168.1.129 colon for the port number 54321 and hit enter. As you can see that brings up a little launch page and now I can follow the Mac and Linux instructions because I'm on a Mac. Mac save files are stored in the folder user library application support slash Minecraft. So if I pull up a finder window, go to my home directory, and then I can go to library, application support, Minecraft, saves. This is an old one, so I'll get rid of it. So here's my save folders. I was playing in World 2. So I'm going to control click. Uh, if you control click World 2, and then you can compress your world. Once you've compressed your world, you can come back and upload your zip file by using the file upload form on the far right of this page. So now I browse to the same spot that I was in. So that's library and then application support, uh, Minecraft, saves, and I upload world 2 and hit submit. Once I do that, I should see my world loading and it recognized it was World 2 from before. So now it's loading World 2 on Minecraft World Explorer. You'll notice that it, it did uh, stay there for a while before the progress bar. Depending on the size of your world, it will uh, take varying amounts of size. Small world will be really quick, and a huge world with uh, Roman Empire rebuilt will probably take a little bit longer.
All right, so world two is ready. So I'm gonna load that. And here I am. So as you can see, the question marks indicate uh, block types that have not yet been implemented. So before I had a big shiny portal to the netherworld there, and so it's reflected by question marks. I had a torch there, and it's reflected by question marks as well. So now all unsupported block, ty block types are question marks. Of course, uh, each day we're adding support for, for new types. So now I have this ready and I can take this with me on the road, the bus, whatever, and I can continue to build. So just to give me an example of the import back, what might be kind of sweet is to have a little bit of gold. So put down some gold there. Nice and sweet and come back and see that. And maybe just hit a couple holes in the ground just for fun. All right, so now if I exit, are you sure you want to exit? Yes. So it's saving uh, my changes to the world. While that's going on, I'm just going to hook my device back up to my Mac. I always like to go back and find her and uh, make a backup of my world. Just by renaming the existing one. All right, so to export, I need to just hit new world so I can grab the HTTP address and it is the same as what I had in there before. So what I wanna do now is uh, just refresh this page. And you can see that I have world2.zip. So I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna save that file. Look at my downloads for Firefox here, or whatever browser you're using. And I'm gonna look at where that is. I'm gonna copy it from my download folder into my Minecraft save folder, which I've left open. So that's the application support one. And then I'm gonna double click it to unzip. Once I've done that, I can pop back into Minecraft, do single player, and pick World 2. Of course, it's night, so some evil zombies are probably going to want to eat me up here, but you can see I've, I dug that hole, and then here's my gold, so now I can mine that gold. There you have it. There is an export and an import into Minecraft from Minecraft World Explorer.